we in the TDR industry have improved upon these pulse widths. And eventually, most people had a 25 or a 2 nanosecond pulse width. And when you get down to about a 2 or, let's say, a 5 nanosecond pulse width, which has a blind spot of anywhere from, let's say, 3 to 5 or 6 feet, that's when it became the industry standard to say a 6-foot jumper will do. I'm just telling you that's how we got there. Now, over the years, other manufacturers have come out with a 1 or a sub-nanosecond pulse width. A sub-nanosecond pulse width, when Reiserbond came up with that years ago, we called it a sub because it was less than 1 nanosecond had a six inch blind spot. That literally meant you could see something six inches from the front panel of your TDR. But I'm telling you, I'm not saying that all you need now is just a six inch jumper because the truth is you're gonna look a little bit silly here trying to connect with this six inch jumper and see your screen at the same time. 